If your cluttered kitchen is driving you insane, stay tuned. Today we'll be discussing 10 steps to get you a more minimal, practical, but still efficient kitchen. Let's dive right in. Step one is to declutter your kitchen. This is the first step to creating a more minimal and more functional kitchen. You wanna remove any items that you rarely use or anything that takes up unnecessary space. Keep only the essentials that serve multiple purposes and align with your actual cooking habits. If you have appliances that are still in the box or even appliances that you've opened but you've never actually used, are they actually serving you? Probably not. Let's figure out how to put them away or get rid of them. Step two, organize your space. Efficient organization is key to any minimalist habit. Your kitchen is no different. Utilize your cabinets and shelves and drawers, dividers to keep everything neat, easily accessible. Arrange your items based on frequency of use even to streamline your cooking process. Step three, another recurring minimalist theme is to opt for quality over quantity. Invest in high quality kitchen tools and appliances that will stand the test of time. Having fewer reliable and durable pieces is way better than having a cluttered space full of cheap little kitchen gadgets that you use only from time to time. Remember, practicality is one of the greatest things that you can remember to keep in mind when practicing minimalism. Step four, create a versatile pantry. Maintain a well-stocked pantry with options and ingredients that can be used in multiple recipes. Staples like your grains and beans and canned goods are great, but you also just wanna make sure that you're tailoring it to your needs or your family's needs. What is it that you actually eat a lot of and how can you take the time to make sure that you're practicing using these ingredients across multiple meals instead of just buying what you need for one time and not using it again? Remember, buying things that you're only gonna use one time is not very beneficial in the long run and can create more clutter. Step five, embrace simple recipes. Focusing on simple and delicious recipes that don't require an extensive list of ingredients or complicated techniques can really benefit you in keeping the clutter down in your kitchen. Look for dishes with minimal meal prep time, minimal cooking steps, and minimal ingredients. This ties in so much with the previous step because if you think about it, the more you keep things simple and practical, the less you have the chance for building up random items that you never use. And that's typically what clutter is. Clutter is not just things that we use all the time that are bogging our lives down. Clutter, more likely than not, involves having a series of items around us that we don't use, they don't serve a practical purpose. So keep things simple in the kitchen. Step six, meal prep, but efficiently. Meal prepping can be a game changer, but only if you do it in a minimal way. Otherwise, it can be so challenging, it can be so much more expensive than it needs to be, and it can involve a lot of steps. Planning practical and realistic meals ahead, cooking in batches, and storing your food in reusable containers can save so much time and help you to reduce kitchen clutter. Step seven, limit small appliances. Now this does tie in with step number three where we talk about quality over quantity. While small appliances can be convenient, consider what you truly need. How often do you need these items? Sticking to those few appliances that you use to serve multiple purposes is much more beneficial in the long run. Maybe invest in a blender instead of having a blender and a food processor if you wouldn't use the food processor as much. Similarly, you may not need a toaster and a toaster oven. Maybe you should pick one based on your lifestyle choices and stick with it. Think, how can I make multiple uses out of this before you purchase a new appliance? Step eight is a little bit more on the obvious side, but make it a habit to clean as you go in your kitchen to avoid active clutter buildup while you're cooking and preparing meals. This will also prevent you from using too many items at once and feeling like you need to go out and purchase multiple items when you don't. There are many items in our kitchens that we just don't need to have duplicates of, but we buy more just for the sake of convenience. If we go that little extra mile to take that initiative to clean as we go, we can avoid unnecessary buildup and clutter in our kitchens. Step nine, keep a clean sink. 
A clutter-free sink area can make a significant difference in how your kitchen looks and feels. Make it a habit to clean the dishes immediately after use or at least before you go to bed every night so that you're not piling up unnecessary items around the sink and creating more of a visual mess. Step 10, practice mindful cooking. Now this does tie into a few of the previous steps that we've already discussed, but remember to keep practicality at the forefront. Planning ahead can be essential and very important in keeping a clutter-free environment in your kitchen. Take time every week to establish a menu and make a list for when you go to the grocery store. Taking that extra step just to be a little bit more intentional can save you so much stress in your environment by reducing the clutter. Remember, reducing clutter is all about being intentional. I hope that these tips inspire you to declutter and organize your kitchen and space, making it a peaceful and more efficient hub for your culinary creativity. Thanks for watching.